If you're looking for a used vehicle in the Chicagoland area, North Naperville Autos is your one-stop shop for quality pre-owned cars. Stop in and visit or browse their inventory online at www.NorthNaperville-Autos.com. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2006 Honda CRV SE. Up front is a 2.4 liter inline four and down below is a five speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here CRV for a couple of reasons. First of all, I haven't done a CRV this old yet. This is a second generation Honda CRV and I haven't filmed one. But the other reason is the fact that I just like these little things. I'm excited to share with you why. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zachpradle.com, where you can buy stickers and other merchandise when it becomes available. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form and you get a video of your car just like this one. And you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that K24 2.4 liter under the hood. Well, the K series is an engine family from Honda that they've used in a lot of different vehicles. And they've always been pretty stout, pretty reliable engines. They make a good amount of power for what they are. And actually a lot of Honda enthusiasts use them in performance vehicles. Now, of course, hopped up versions, but it's easy to make power out of them if you want to. And the K series is synonymous with Honda and one of their best engines that they've made in the last two decades. So very, very happy to see that under the hood. Now, like I said, paired to it is a five speed automatic. This is pretty on par with the other SUVs from this era. However, more modern vehicles have a lot more gears than that, but for 2006, five speeds is right about correct. One last thing about the transmission actually is the fact that you could get these in manual. 2006 being the last year of the second gen was the last year you could get them in manual here in the United States. So if you do want to seek out a manual Honda CRV, you're going to have to go 06 or before. Last but not least, this here particular CRV is all wheel drive. However, you could find them in front wheel drive in this generation if that's something that you wanted. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four very plain and basic gauges. On the left is my coolant temperature and tachometer, and on the right is my speedometer and fuel. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my channel, volume, and mode, and on the right, I have my cruise control settings. The steering wheel looks very late 90s, early 2000s from Honda. I feel like this steering wheel would fit right in home in a 98 Accord. So for 2006, a little bit dated, but this was the very last year of this body style, so I can't knock it too hard. Off to the left, I have a climate control vent, my sunroof options, very reminiscent of even like the EF Honda Civics, traction control and cruise, and then a dead switch. On the door, I have my latch get in and out as well as lock and unlock, power mirrors, child locks, and power windows. Moving into the center, I do get a compact disc changer, a six disc changer, as well as my tape deck and radio. I like the feedback that you get in the radio knobs. I think they feel nice. Definitely, definitely very period correct for 2006. It's just funny to me to see a tape player. Then I do have two climate control vents, and then I get my hazard switch and this big storage cubby down below. It almost looks as if the radio should go here, but it's not. We already talked about it and already looked at that. It's a very, very odd storage compartment that I'm sure in many other CRVs has been filled up with garbage in the last 16 years. So. Very nice to see it clean. However, off to the left is my favorite interior quirk from the second generation CRV, and that is the handbrake is meant when it is disengaged to be flush with the dash. It almost looks like when you engage it, you're pulling one of the supports off the dashboard. It's a really, really interesting look, and it's the same for the manual transmission CRVs. Off to the left of that handbrake, I do have heated seat options. So very, very nice here in the SE CRV. And up above that, I do have the gear shifter. It is not a column shifter, but feels like a column shifter because of its location, which is kind of interesting. Then we do have the climate controls, very basic here. Fan speed off to the left, temperature in the center, where to send it off to the right, that's it. So on first glance, I thought that this was a weird ashtray. No, 
it is actually a cup holder and some more storage options as we work our way down the center stack. However, it is not connected to the center console, so you do get some nice leg room options here in the CRV. This carries on to even modern CRVs, but I really like that. And then we have the center console itself, which do contain cup holders, so we will do a big friggin' bottle test here in the 2006 second generation Honda CRV. And unfortunately, it's a reverse Goldilocks situation. That first indent is a little bit too wide, the second indent way too skinny. So unfortunately, the 2006 Honda CRV fails the big friggin' bottle test. Then I do get some extra cubbies. This non-slip material that they put in the bottom is not nearly as good as what's found in the third generation CRV. I also have a review coming out of a third gen and you'll see in that video what I mean, but stuff rolls around down here. It's not fantastic for storage, but what the heck. Then we do have the seats. The seats are perforated leather. They are heated and they are pretty comfy. I have to say I am a decently big fan of them for a CRV. I don't expect the CRV's seats to feel like a Rolls Royce. So with that mindset, these are pretty good. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're on the back of the 2006 Honda CRV SE. And a couple of things to note. First of all, my seat is actually moved back further than what I would normally sit at. When I get those nice driving shots, like seen here, back to me, I move the seat back so you don't see as much as my body. So the seat is moved back, but I still have tons of space. My knees are not hitting the seat in front of me. My head, it's coming close to the ceiling. I don't know why my sunglasses on. My head isn't hitting the ceiling or anything like that, which is really nice. I do get two cup holders back here, unequal size. The right one is a lot larger than the left one. Other than that, nothing too crazy to write home about besides the space back here. You know, CRVs, they just work. They work for humans. And I feel like there's a lot of cars out there on the market that weren't designed with the human body shape in mind. There's some cars that you have to kind of get in the back like that. This, you sit down like you would anywhere else. And I like that a lot. I love CRVs. Let's go hop around the very back. We'll take a quick look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 06 Honda CRV. And as you can see, it's just a giant door. It opens up, we'll go as far as it can. That's how far it opens. That is pretty freaking good. It reminds me a lot of the Toyota RAV4 of the same era too, which will be linked at the end of this video. But once we are back here, nothing really crazy to write home about. That looks like it would be a vent, it's not. Um, I do have like my jack over there. And then of course you get tons of floor space because you don't have to account for the spare tire. So that is very, very nice. Tons of cargo room. You're gonna be able to fit whatever you want, whatever you need back here. Snowboards, skis, basketballs. I don't play sports, so I don't know the other sports, but I'm sure you could fit whatever equipment you need for those sports back here with total ease. And I love this big door, big friggin' door test. There we go, love that about the CRV. But hands down, one of the coolest features of the 06 CRV is the fact that underneath the rear carpet, there is actually a fold out playing card table. It has its own legs as seen here, and it is an actual legitimate table. I have no idea why Honda did this. They also did this with the Honda Element. They gave you a table in the back. I guess it makes sense, but it was so much extra engineering just to do this. I really, really appreciate that they did, and this is like the main quirk of the second gen Honda CRV. Now we gotta talk about the looks, and this is one of my favorite parts of the CRV. I really feel like this thing looks like it's ready for battle. I like how angular it is. I like the way it's sculpted. I like the lines. I like the way this thing looks. Like I said, it looks athletic. It looks sporty. And something I do want to take particular note of is the fact that this being a 2006 CRV, this is the last year, the final year that they actually put the spare tire on the back. But with that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts about the second gen CRV because the spare tire does pair well with my thoughts. Well, this to me is sort of the end of an era for the Honda CRV. The first and second gen CRVs were light on their feet. 
athletic. No, they weren't fast, but it just feels like this car is ready to take on almost any terrain you want to throw it at. It's like that hyper soccer player kid you went to school with, just ready for anything or any scenario, whether it was gonna get tossed into that scenario or not. This is the last year of the sporty CRV because take a look at this third gen. It's very mundane, great SUV, love that car, really do but it just feels different. It feels more civilized. It feels more suburban rather than wilderness. This car has a sort of fighting spirit to it. This is a sporty SUV. It has plenty of space in the back for your skis, for your pickleball equipment, for your remote control car, and all of the different bins you have of extra brushless motors, body panels, and fluffy foam inserts for the tires. You could easily put a roof box on the top, take it out to a national park, take it out into the wilderness. This car feels ready for that. This car feels very granola. That's what I like about this car. And that's what I've liked about these cars forever. Now pair that also with the fact that you could have gotten this with a manual transmission. My friend Adam had one, and unfortunately I never got the opportunity to review it. It always had an engine mount issue and then he never fixed it and sold it. And so I never reviewed it, but I drove that car a fair amount. The manual transmission was great and it added a sporty fun feel. We took that car through some snowy roads here in the Midwest that I don't even know if I would attempt in a diesel pickup. So there it is. The 2006 Honda CRV is a fun, sporty SUV and really puts the S into that name. I love these little things and it's no wonder why these carry a little bit of a premium still on the secondhand market. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their 2006 Honda CRV. This has been a wonderful experience. I'm so happy to finally film them. I also filmed their third gen CRV. You'll see beginning of 2023 if it's not out already. They offer financing shipping nationwide to all 48 states, as well as they are Carfax certified. So you know you'll be getting a good deal. Their information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.